Gestational diabetes is a diagnosis of pregnancy where the woman has increased insulin resistance, so they have additional sugar in their blood. The way that we test for this is between 24 and 28 weeks, your doctor will send you for a blood test after you drink a 50 gram sugar load. And what they're looking for is your intolerance to this sugar, which is a carbohydrate, to see if your blood sugars are elevated. The reason we're testing for this is to make sure that you can appropriately use the blood sugar for your own metabolism as well as give the baby the appropriate amount of blood sugar for its own nourishment and well-being. Unfortunately, when moms have additional sugar in their blood, they can overnourish their babies. And so some babies will have abnormalities of their growth from that point in the pregnancy on. And a lot of women think, well, I'll just grow a very healthy, large-sized baby, but unfortunately this can lead to problems at birth because not all of these babies will come down the birth canal well, meaning that they're not as easy to deliver vaginally, leading to more women having to have cesarean births. Not only that, it does increase the way they put on their baby weight. So some of these babies can come out with larger abdomens and larger shoulders and have troubles negotiating the birth canal. After birth, some of these babies also will have a, a little bit of a hard time dealing with the change in that blood sugar environment because they're not seeing that blood sugar from mom's body. They now have to cope with all of the extra insulin in their own body. So some of these babies will drop their blood sugars a little bit too low and need some additional support, as well as the new processes of their own life where they're having to deal with metabolism of their own bilirubin and their own calcium levels. So sometimes these babies need a little additional support in the nursery. For most moms, this is an upsetting diagnosis because they want their pregnancies to go well and they don't want to have to have the additional burning burden of having the screen. But really, this is a very easily taken care of um, metabolic issue. And typically, all it involves is the mom having to change her diet. And typically, it's modifying the amount of carbohydrates that the woman is eating. Once they've done this, most can safely um, have a nice, normal, healthy pregnancy. They'll have to routinely screen their blood to make sure that their blood sugars are appropriate. And if their blood sugars are not controlled well with diet, then we can add medications to keep them safely in parameters.